I know I haven't posted a video in absolutely ages so I apologise for that. I've been busy with work and stuff but I've got quite a few videos in store for you guys in the coming weeks. Today's video is a makeup tutorial I wore for my sister's 21st birthday. It is a very neutral look with fluttery false lashes and my current favourite lip colour. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with the tutorial. As you can see I've already applied my foundation, filled in my eyebrows and face makeup. All products used will be listed in the description box below as always. I'm moving straight onto the eyes and I'm applying Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre all the way up to the brow bone. To highlight the brow bone, I'm using my favourite highlighter of all time, Max Eyeshadow in Rice Paper. This is going to create a nice sheen to the brow bone. This is a lovely golden yellow shade and would look gorgeous on olive skin tones. For my transition shade, I'm using Max Eyeshadow in Wedge. This is quite a neutral medium brown shade and I'm applying that onto my crease with a tapered fluffy brush. To deepen up that crease, with a petite crease brush, I'm going in with Makeup Peaks Cocoa Bear. This is a very warm red brown colour and it's one of my favourite go-to eyeshadows. I love Makeup Peaks eyeshadows because they are amazing quality and very inexpensive. I'd say I love them as much as Max eyeshadows actually. And now I'm making sure everything is well blended with a clean fluffy brush. With a flat shader brush, I'm applying Max Eyeshadow in Vanilla to my eyelids. This is really going to brighten up the eyes and make them stand out. I'm also putting a little bit of this onto my inner tear duct area. I'm using Mulch from the same eyeshadow palette and I'm applying this to the outer corners of my eye to darken it up a bit and add some shimmer. I'm quickly curling my lashes with my Primark eyelash curlers before going in with my Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner. I'm slightly winging this out. I'm applying Rimmel Scandalized Cool Liner in Nude to my bottom waterline and I'm going in with Urban Decay's 24-7 Black Liner in Perversion on the outer half of my bottom lash line. I'm going back in with that same Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear to smoke out that bottom lash line with a pencil brush. For mascara, I'm using this 17 HD Falsify Mascara in Black as Black. I've only started using this mascara recently after my Maybelline one ran out and so far I don't know what I think of it. It's great at lengthening and separating but I do miss my Miss Mango mascara. Have you guys tried this mascara out? If you have and if you like it, please let me know in the comment section below. To set my brows, I'm using Rimmel's Brow This Way in Dark Brown. This is also a new favourite product of mine. For blusher, I'm using this EX1 blusher in Natural Flush and this gives a lovely natural flush to the cheeks as the name suggests and I really like it. I really like EX1 products because they look gorgeous on olive skin tones. I'm using the same highlight we used on the brow bone and this is Max Eyeshadow in Rice Paper. This is such a gorgeous colour so I thought why not use this on the cheekbones and the cupid's bow as well. I'm making sure everything is nicely blended with a stippling brush. I'm 
I'm setting everything in place with my MAC Block Powder in dark. For false lashes, I'm using these Primark lashes and I don't really like them. They're really difficult to apply and I don't like the fact that they're all one length. They were only a pound though, so you can't really complain. To line my lips, I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Well, another must-have that I'm absolutely in love with. For lipstick, I'm using this Kiko Ultimo lipstick in number 13 Coco. You can tell I really love this product. I've been using it non-stop for weeks. It's just the most perfect 90s morph colour and I really really love this colour. I think I might actually buy a backup. And now my hair's all done too. I half straightened it and curled it with a curler as I wanted perfect curls towards the bottom. And that is pretty much the end of the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't, and comment down below. And have a wonderful weekend. Bye!